Alright, what's up you guys? Time for another video. This is one topic I'm gonna just... I did a video about this before and I'm gonna do what I'm calling an updated video on it. You know, where you did a video on it like a couple years ago and you just maybe delete the old video and you want to do a video on it again and delete the old one and do a new one. Uh, Alright, here goes. And plus, since uh, you hear shit like this, like maybe, I don't know, once a year on the TV news, and you've got to wonder, uh, what, you're, yeah, okay, well, this is one of those things where you see it on the news, and you're looking at, like, what the fuck am I supposed to care? Like, it's on the news, you're not envious of it, you're laughing at it, you bear with me uh, uh, for a second here. Okay, maybe once every, I don't know, in my area, year, I don't know why this shit becomes newsworthy, but uh, you'll hear a story, right? Uh, there was this, uh, a dude somewhere, whether he's black or white, you know, walks to work or does does whatever he can to get to a job, doesn't drive, and gets there faithfully. And, and somebody uh, sees him, picks him up, and yada yada, and takes pity on him, and gives him a car, okay? And I don't care if you're, what color you are, or or whether, whoever you are watching this, um, my opinion, why I would tell people to go fuck themselves, and I would gladly make the news by a, uh, saying no way, I don't want your fucking cars, uh, if you bear with me, uh, I guess you can Google this and look up the articles, and, uh, some, st all right, somebody that you don't know, oh, uh, maybe they give you a ride, or I personally, uh, didn't take rides from people I didn't know. I used to, like, have my, uh, um, MP3, uh, my, like, uh, MP3 phone and, uh, my Bluetooth speaker and be just relaxing, walking air, or I actually had bike. And what I used to do, in fact, there's sometimes I walked around shopping in a town I used to go, right, and somebody was either a fancy truck or somebody else somewhere, uh, uh, would go by and say, oh, where you're going, and I'd, uh, with a smirk on my face, i say, New Jersey, and then just keep right on walking, and, uh, like, no, I didn't want to be graced with a ride, and, uh, or I said something like, oh, no, I'm fine, I have, uh, a Bluetooth speaker in jams, I'm fine, it says, yeah, I'm doing this willingly walking, don't take a ride, but anyway, okay, a story, one every year, okay, that I hear in my area, and then you can look up articles when you Google it, Okay, uh, I get it, you know, a person, stranger gives, if you choose to take a ride from some stranger, depending on where you live, and then all of a sudden they want to give you a car, right? But, okay, my take on it, um, not to ramble too much, say me and you knew each other, whether you're black or white, I had friends, both black or white, that I uh, worked jobs with, or say you had neighbors from your neighborhood, and... Maybe I, uh, if you were a friend of mine, I says, well, I got this car. I'm going to give, sell it to you for a short price. You know what? I'll just give it to you. I don't want to sell it. And I'll say, well, uh, you may have to put some money into it a little later. You know, you're a friend or a neighbor, relative. Yeah, I mean, we know each other. Or say you watching this. Somebody you know, okay, work with. That's different. You might give them a car or... Or on the other end, maybe you might take a car from them and hopefully they don't throw it in your face that they give it to you. You're lucky if your own family member will give you something like that without selling it to you for a ridiculous price or giving it cheaper. And say if you take it, they don't throw it in your face. You know what I'm saying, right? Okay, you're sta you've are got what I'm saying. You know, usually you're related to somebody or you can, or a friend, you know them or well, or a neighbor. But when a damn stranger, uh, okay, if not enough, you know, they, okay, some of the stories, they were like, um, they did a GoFundMe and got this guy a car. But that's not at all of it, if you're following me so far, right? Okay. How the fuck does it become newsworthy? Uh, you, you guys tell me, like, some stranger just gives you a ride to work, whether you walk and you're glad to ride or whatever, or be graced, or maybe you... Like me, you don't want to be graced with a ride. But if it's somebody you know, maybe you take the ride you work with them. 
And all of a sudden, yeah, they're, they're, are they, they don't even fucking know you, right? They're going to get a GoFundMe and just, if they don't have a car to give you, get a bunch of their friends in a GoFundMe to buy you a car. And on top of that, it makes the news all of a sudden. Who the fuck calls the news? I mean, that looks kind of fucked up and creepy and goofy in a way, if you ask me. I mean, like I said, if, if I had the power to do such a thing and not do a GoFundMe, say I had a car, right? If you were somebody I knew, worked with you, even if we didn't like each other that much, I'd cut you a break. And you would hope if I gave you a car, you know, I'd promise to not throw it in your face if we get an argument, you know what I mean? Or You get what I'm saying. But uh, you got a question. That you, you're better off, in my opinion, telling somebody that if you have a... That, uh, Say you don't know for sure it's going to make the news, but you tell me, what would you do if all of a sudden somebody gives you a car like it, and then all of a sudden it's on the news, and they put you all of it, they tell your name on the news, and the person gives you the car, oh, he's, the, the microphone, put the uh, news, puts a microphone up to the person who gave her the car, and they're bragging it up, oh yeah, I thought that this was a good thing to do for this, maybe not the exact, those exact words, but they might as well be saying, yeah, for this poor soul, and look at me, I, uh, and you gotta wonder, the, did the, yeah, the giver of the car, you know, he called the news, who the fuck else called the news, the receiver of the car wouldn't exactly be calling the news and calling it out, why would he, you know what I mean, I don't know, you tell me, would would the receiver of the car do that? Somebody fucking called the news, but I've heard these stories maybe, I don't know, once a year. And this is one of them deals where you're not envious of a person, you know, with the car. You can be happy for him in a way. But what I'm telling you is that, I don't know about you, but if it was you or me being the receiver of, of said car, or the giver of said car, in my book, we would have to know each other, like work together for a long time. We were friends for a while, neighbors for a while, or related. And like you said, in a lot of cases, I don't know about you, but in a lot of cases, it can be neighbors and even relatives that they would, they would really cut you a break price wise. You'd be, you guys probably got stories where, yeah, somebody even related to you. They'll sell you the car, gouge the shit out of you, and don't even give you maybe a better deal. Um, as far as, you know, uh, because you know each other. Not give it for free, but, you know, a better deal. But they don't do that. They want to gouge you. And in my book, I don't know about some of you guys that say if I was the giver of a car, and I knew, you know, say if I was your neighbor of friends, i give it to you, I wouldn't throw it in your face, right? But say... I think it would be the right thing to do. Uh, say you'd have to put money into it eventually anyway. And it would be better than selling you some car, right, for some price. And say I knew damn well something was wrong with it and i take your money. I personally wouldn't want that on my conscience. I'd tell you ahead of time. Here, uh, this has had a lot of miles on it. Just you do anything else you put into it. You might, you know... Uh, use it for a while that's different but say i give you the fucking car right or did a gofundme to buy you a car and all of a sudden somehow it makes the news and uh i why would why the fuck would i want to call the news well if if all of a sudden you're what your face was on the news and my face was on the news you'd be like man that well the way i think you would react you might disagree with me you'd be like that son of a bitch, fuck you in your car, you know, maybe, uh, you might want to say, well, t uh, d who knows, um, park that fucking car, like, uh, knock on a door and, like, park that car, you know, back in there, and after you see it on the news, well, that would be my thing, you know what I mean? I'd see that coming right away, you know what I mean? First of all, I wouldn't want, if you got this far in this video, I wouldn't want... Even if somebody looks like they have good intentions, somebody that I don't know, that I'm not related to, that never worked with, you know, or something like that, you're some poor soul, give them a, give a ride to work. I think it would look creepy. I wouldn't want no car from some 
from somebody that I don't even know. You know, what the hell is that? How do you know that uh, if I accept a car from somebody I don't know like that, or whether they get a GoFundMe, maybe they don't just want clout from it being on the news. They might be some creep or weirdo that would be like saying, okay, uh, once I accept the car, like they think I owe them something. You know, I might be, they might be, uh, uh, well, like, uh, you don't want to say they might be looking for something else or whatever, too, or they want something in return, who knows. Well, there was these other stories, like, in these novels or movies, some kind of crime, crime uh, gang or uh, mafia, you get reeled in or something, and uh, you accept it from them, and all of a sudden... Everything from uh, being pulled into some kind of loan sharking record or crime uh, mafia type thing, or not that I am um, bashing anybody's partner affectional preference, but uh, maybe they have some kind of thing for you or something, a weird obsession with you, and then even you want to get the car back. Ah, no. Or say uh, you're uh, not bashing on anybody, eh? Um, that, that, I mean, that's fucked up. I mean, it, I think it's creepy. I'll put it this way. Anybody out there that if that's their thing and they're even gay or whatever, and it's somebody that they never met, they don't know, I mean, it can be uh, some really deadly or disastrous consequences or whatever, too. I mean, I imagine there's shit like that, and it can be in some uh, fucked up movie or whatever the hell, too. Um, some people, they're interested in you some kind of damn way or have designs on you some kind of damn way. People just don't fucking do that shit. I mean, if they, there's a point where they do that damn uh, shit on the news, they're trying to get attention on the news. I think they shouldn't have been doing that shit and all that. The, it, uh, even though it ain't really my business, the, it's up to the receiver or the car who took the car, but... If I was one of them, I would tell them to go fuck themselves, especially if it's they do it just to make the news. Come on. The news didn't magically uh, find out about it. Uh, somebody had to tell them. I mean, somebody has to be a real asshole. It doesn't look, uh, what do you call it, uh, noble or benevolent in, in any way. You give somebody a damn car and it makes the news. And there is something in a hidden, like they want something, even if they don't have designs on you or, or some weird obsession with you trying to, uh, whether they're gay or sh some kind of other way not to bash somebody else's, uh, you know, basically I'm saying anybody that's that way, calm down, I'm not bashing you, I'm saying... If somebody was uh, like that too, you, I mean, you'd stay away from it because they want something in return, you know. Maybe they might follow you around and uh, murder you or some damn shit. You know, it's like they think you, they think you owe them something. People don't just do that for nothing. There is a chance that they could be, they just want that attention on the news and they want you to worship them. So that's why you shouldn't take anything from people you don't know in the first place. I mean, it's bad enough that, uh, say... You have somebody related to you to give you something. Maybe it's not for free, real cheap, or gives it to you. Acts like it's free and then treats you like you owe them something. Or if they don't, throw it in your face. I mean, that happens all the time. Uh, uh, in that scope where you got these uh, fucking uh, people that do shit like that. So you get what I'm saying? You got the people that... Uh, you know are related to you, they'll throw it in your face right away or whatever, or you'll get, if they don't do that, give it to you for free or give it to you cheap and throw it in your face. Uh, don't cut you any kind of break, gouge you price-wise, where you're not really getting any other benefit, you know what I mean, uh, other than going and buying one yourself or uh, somebody that outright does it in a creepy way. The news, yeah, the TV news is acting like it's something so great, like you're supposed to give a fuck, and you're over here on TV, like what the fuck? Uh, creepy as yeah, creepy as hell.